Ready for action, yeah, low key, it's just for me on the internet. Fake up, cause they shook, know I've been a threat. So cold, bitches sick, think they need a vet. If I start texting hoes, they gon' be in crazy debt. Don't break the bag. So, I made you a basketball first. Um, I didn't get a chance to wipe off the glue, so excuse that. It's very fragile, so you gotta open very slow. But, yeah. I don't know if it's functional. I wouldn't actually put stuff in it. Only because it's so fragile, but yeah. Bro, how did you do this? Like, this is crazy. What? I just thought it was really cute. It's really a $900 bag idea, but I said I could DIY that, so I DIY'd it. No, literally, I can dribble my bag to work. <laughs> so annoying. Yo, when bold is white, but you gotta, <laughs> but you gotta be a girl. <laughs> You'll see the, the video on YouTube. I struggled hard. I struggled really hard. <laughs> you like me? Yeah, it's really cute. I saw the bag and I was like, oh my God, that's so autumn, but I don't have $900 right now, so I made it. <laughs> What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. So first things first, here's all the things you're going to need to complete this basketball purse. And I will link where I got everything down below in the description box. Okay guys, so this first step I did is completely optional. You do not have to do this. I just wanted the ball to have a little bit more shine, but the ball was brand new, so it honestly didn't do much to it. So if you're working with the older basketball, I would highly suggest this step for you, but it's not necessary if you're gonna buy a whole new ball. So next you're gonna take your zipper. I got mine from Joann's. Actually, this one was from Amazon, but you guys will see why this one is not the final one that I end up working with. But you wanna just cut these straps off and then measure the zipper to the ball to make sure you know how much you have to cut open. <laughs> Now on to cutting, I took my X-Acto knife, shout out to graphic design. I took my X-Acto knife and attempted to start cutting this ball. Nobody will tell you how difficult it actually is to cut a basketball, but I will be the one to tell you. It is not easy to cut a basketball, so please be careful during this step. I almost cut myself about five different times, so definitely just be careful. <laughs> As you guys can see, I switched over to some scissors because I was tired of almost making myself bleed. So yes, definitely grab a pair of scissors during this process as well. You're also going to see me repeatedly place the zipper back onto the ball. That is just so I can see if my hand would fit inside the ball with the zipper on. This step is extremely important. If you want your bag to be functional or if you just want it to be an accessory, then this little slit will do just fine. <laughs>
this is the beginning of what not to do. So I went in with some super glue, wrong, all wrong. This was extremely messy and I didn't have on gloves. So my fingers were starting to stick together. It was a hot mess. Now I'm placing the zipper onto the ball and that was a hot mess because it did not stick. So just skip this, do not do this. I'm a person who will always show you my mistakes so you do not do it. So I left this clip in, but you definitely don't wanna go in with super glue. After I tragically went, th went in with super glue, I went in with a hot glue gun and this was also a mistake because in the end i ended up gluing the zipper closed so the zipper would not open and close so don't do this do not be me i'm going to show you the correct way to go about this process <laughs> In the interim of being frustrated about that overpriced zipper, I just decided to put the side handlebars on and you're just gonna poke holes in the side and then loop the chain through. Now you see I'm back with three different zippers because I was not playing this time and I'm going to go in with my hot glue gun and glue the zipper on while the zipper is open. This is the correct way to go about this. Glue the zipper on while the zipper is still open. All those zippers are from Joann's by the way and they range from two to three dollars. You also must note that when you're working with hot glue, you have to move quickly because it does dry pretty quickly. So also keep that in mind. Now that I mastered this, I was able to cover up all that mess I made before, so I was extremely happy. Now moving on to our leather handles, I actually used a combination of the hot glue and the super glue because this is a little bit heavier, so it needs more tackiness to stick on. So I used the word spalding as an eye reference as to where to place the handlebar. So I put one directly above the G and the other one directly above the S. Voila, you have a basketball purse. This process will challenge you during every step of the way, but it ultimately was fun and I did enjoy doing it. So let me know if you guys decide to do it in the near future and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.